Hey, Psych2Goers, welcome back to our channel. Have you ever wanted to impress your crush? If only they saw some of your great qualities, they may just like you. But how can you get them to notice you first? Here are just a few psychological ways to impress your crush. Number one, go on an adrenaline boosting date. In a famous 1973 study on the psychology of attraction, psychologists Donald Dutton and Arthur Arung had an attractive female experimenter ask male subjects between the ages of 18 to 35 a series of questions. The experimenter showed each subject an ambiguous image and asked them to tell a story about what could be taking place in the picture. But half of the men had to cross a high rickety bridge while the other half crossed a stable and low bridge. At the end of the questionnaire, the woman then gave each man her phone number and said they could call her if they had any questions about the study. The men on the unstable, adrenaline-inducing bridge wrote stories on their questionnaire that included more sexual content and imagery than those on the lower bridge. And only two out of the 16 subjects who went over the low, stable bridge called the female experimenter back, while half of those who crossed the high, scary bridge called the woman after the experiment was finished. Researchers Dutton and Aaron theorized that the scary bridge created feelings of arousal in subjects. Subjects misattributed this arousal as feelings for the attractive female experimenter. So if someone goes on an exciting adrenaline inducing date, they may turn these feelings to you and want to pursue you more. Number two, on a coffee date, order a warm beverage. According to researchers, Lawrence E. Williams and John A. Barg, experiencing physical warmth can encourage interpersonal warmth. For their experiment, subjects held warm and cold beverages while discussing another group of people. The participants who held iced beverages were much more ruthless and cold in describing the other group. Those who held the warm drink judged others as having a warmer personality, believing they were more caring and generous. The research study states, experiences of physical temperature per se affect one's impressions of and pro-social behavior toward other people without one's awareness of such influences. The findings are in agreement with emerging knowledge about the role played by the insula in both the sensation of one's physiological state, such as skin temperature, and the detection of the trustworthiness of others. So when it comes to picking a first date, take your crush out to a cozy place that's warm and remember, order coffee or cocoa. Number three, buy them a gift that you own as well. So you're thinking about gifting something to your crush, huh? Well, if you do decide to gift your special someone something, give yourself the same present as well. Researchers Evan Pullman and Sam J. Maglio call this gift giving behavior companionizing. In their study, they found that an individual is more likely to feel closer to their gift givers if they give them something they own as well. Whether it's a pair of matching sweaters or a favorite CD you also own, give them something you have too. Not only will they enjoy their gift more knowing someone out there has another part of it, but they may just feel closer to you as well. Number four, be humorous. Everyone loves to laugh. So why not bring the humor to the table on your next date? According to what is known as the humor effect, generally people will have an easier time remembering information they perceived as humorous, as opposed to info they don't find funny. Well, next time you tell your date why the chicken crossed the road, she may not only remember that dear old chicken, but she may just remember you a bit more too. There is still continuous research needed on the benefits of humor and the humor effect in its relation to memory, but it certainly won't hurt next time you bust out a good joke. Humor increases energy levels, lowers our negative emotions, and it may just make your crush more interested in what you say. Number five, buy them some food. According to a study published in the journal Frontiers of Psychology, Giving your crush some food may just make them feel something more for you. Researchers Mert E. Hamburg, Katrine Finknar, and Carlo Schungo theorize that food offering provides a way of coping with distress and empathetic concern, as well as an effective means of offering social support, resulting in increased positive effect across interaction partners and an increase in interpersonal closeness. So next time you see them, pour them some hot cocoa and share that chocolate croissant of yours. They may just like you more for it and see you as having a warmer personality too. Number six, compliment others. One way to impress your crush is to show them how kind you are to others. 
you are kind to others, right? When we speak of others in a positive light, people will associate the traits we use to describe that person with ourselves. This often occurs when we talk about someone in a positive way to someone else. This is called spontaneous trait transference, and it occurs when communicators are perceived as possessing the very traits they describe in others. According to researchers, Skowronski, Carlston, May, and Crawford, and according to several studies published in the Journal of Personality and Social Psychology, the researchers found that when we describe someone with a certain trait to another person, that person will associate us with the trait described. So next time you notice something great about your friend, Billy, make sure to let your crush know how great Billy is. I mean, as long as Billy isn't across a high and unstable bridge, holding a warm cup of coffee and a bag of croissants. Oh, he is? Dang, flabbit Billy. So how will you impress your crush? Which of these psychological studies did you find most interesting? Will you use them? Let us know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like button and share this video with a friend or maybe your crush. Subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell icon for more content like this. And as always, thanks for watching.